So I shared with you in a previous video our trouble with milling with Honduran rosewood for some projects. We broke bits and had to slow things way down to be able to work with this very hard wood. We found a solution that we want to share with you, so stay tuned. So we needed a very hard wood for a special project we're making, which is a speed loader for Glock magazines. So we wanted to try rosewood. Rosewood on the Jenka scale is 2200. Compare this to white oak at 1350 or western cedar at 350. It is a lot harder than we normally see and see. The Jenka scale, which I had to look up, rates wood by how hard or how well it withstands dents, dings, and wear, which also affects how hard it is to nail, screw, sand, or saw. So we reached out to the community and to Garrett at IDC Woodcraft. Garrett thought he had a solution for this and sent me a link to a roughing bed he calls the hog. So we put it to the test. The specs on this thing look amazing. Um, a lot faster. I mean, it's talking about a, a total depth pass of three quarters of an inch, which is, I've been taking a tenth of an inch. So that's amazing. I'm not going to start out that way. I'm going to start out a lot more conservative than that. Um, and we'll see what this thing will do. So he's talking 80 inches a minute, plunge rate of 80 inches a minute, which is crazy too. Um, we're going to give this bit a try and just see what it does. That is one wicked looking bit. I started with mahogany, which is 900 on the Jenka scale. Remember, our rosewood is at 2200. Let's see how it does there first. Cover up to 96 inches a minute. So that did that job on mahogany in half the time. Kind of a fluted, it's kind of cool, but the, man, the top is nice and smooth. It's got these grooves cut in the side, which I kind of like for certain things. It looks really good. The bottom looks clean, but he did say you run a finishing bit over this when you're done. A little better. There's the groove it leaves in it. Man, the bottom is pretty smooth. Okay, we're going to try this on the rosewood and using the same tool path I did on the mahogany. I'm going to let it run at 80 inches per minute. Um, I've got the plunge. I backed it down to 40 to start with. Um, I couldn't even begin to run at 80 on the uh, other bits that I have. So We'll see what this does. I'm going to start out by slowing this down to 40 to begin with, which would be double what I did with the other bit. So we'll see what happens. Sixty-four inches per minute. This is 
going to be rosewood with the hog bit from IDC Woodworks. Um, we are going to run, I'm going to start out at 40 inches per minute. The bit's rated at 80. This stuff is like cutting into metal, so I'm going to back it down. I can only run my normal bit at 20, and we are taking a little bit deeper pass. We're doing this in three passes instead of five, so it's roughly 0.15 depth at a time. It's 48 inches per minute. Sixty four. did a really good job um, it was doing it at 64 inches a minute versus 80 which is what the bit is spec for I was starting to get a little bit of chatter um, and honestly I'm not sure my CNC is stiff enough to go any faster on this hard of material but yeah it's three times faster than the other bits I was able to run so it definitely hogs um, it's a good name for it is the hog for roughing, I got a little bit of a groove in the bottom. Um, this board wasn't exactly flat either. This is just a boogered up old board I threw in there. I didn't flatten it ahead of time. Um, I can see that, but it would sand out. And again, we didn't run a finishing bit over this yet. I'm gonna run it at spec in mahogany, um, which is 80 inches per minute with an 80 um, inches per minute plunge. I am ramping it an inch and a half before it takes off, so. Wow, that took a lot of material in a hurry. So that's a full three quarter inch deep. This mahogany is hard. It's warm, but it's not hot. Um, I backed it down to 40 just because I felt like my machine might handle it better. I'm probably not stiff enough to run any faster than that with this bit, but holy cow, that's like taking a third of the time 
that it normally would take to hollow that out. So the results speak for themselves. I'm impressed with this bit. I will note this wasn't a sponsored video. I paid for this bit from IDC Woodcraft, which I'll leave a link to below. Garrett at IDC was very helpful and has incredible customer service. You can tell he truly cares. I have some other bits from him I'll be testing in the future, so be sure and check back. Hey, if you got some value from this video, we would sure appreciate it if you'd leave a comment below on your thoughts. What's your favorite bit? And if you think we've earned it, we would love to have you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, get out in the shop and make something cool.